What's up y'all, it's your girl Ebony and I'm back with another video, another message, another level of understanding, another word from the Most High God. And listen you guys, this word is very, very epic, very, very great, but also can be very, very detrimental depending on what side of the fence you're on with this word, okay? God says he could be giving you a blessing, but this blessing could be a curse also, okay? That's like taking the good with the bad, okay? There are certain rules that God has set aside for just us, child of God, just you, child of God, in the time frame in which they have to come to pass because he has made a commitment between our ancestors that came before us, the forefathers that came before us, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the three. Listen, there are so many things that he has spoken over this generation that has nothing to do with our righteousness, has nothing to do with um, the favor of God loving us. It has nothing to do with anything about what we think we're perfect in, but everything to do about God's word and what he placed in a situation. God is loyal. God is faithful. God does not play. Okay. So this is the thing. There are so many things that he wants to come to pass over your life, but it takes a level of authority and obedience of what he called you to do. Your walk may not look like my walk. My walk may not look like their walk. Everybody has a certain level of authority and gift that they've been given by God. So it takes like certain necessary steps for us to obey the voice of God and what he tells us to do in the time frame that he's demanding it. I say blessing and I say curse because if you don't follow the instructions, then you will be taken over by the waves of the current or whatever is going on in that season. Because everything happens spiritual before it's physical, we actually don't get to see what's going on around us. We get the advantage to maybe feel it and those who have the gift of sight can see, but a lot of us children of God, those who have the the gift of hearing, the gift of uh, provision or vision or prophetic anointings or whatever your assigned gift from God is, that's going too far into it. Okay, God. This is the T. The T is this. The T is that spiritually, you can't see when them demons swinging up on you. You might feel it because you're going to get a headache. Or you might feel it because you might start feeling like heavy in the spirit or having attacks in your dreams or certain things that just weigh on you heavier than what they just were a few days ago. You might feel it, but you can't see it. And the thing is, if you just blindly trust God, if you just blindly do what God tells you to do the very first time that he tells you to do it, he can prepare you before you even know what's heading your way. You understand me, child of God? So that's why it can be literally a blessing or a curse. If you choose to not listen and obey to the Holy Spirit on the inside of you, that positive, still voice telling you on what is right and what to do and how to move and maybe call you to a fast, I, it all depends on what God is saying to you. You understand? It could be wake up at this certain time frame, eat this certain amount of food and don't eat it at this time frame. It doesn't matter. Go to sleep during this time. It does not matter what it is. God literally, literally has things in order just in place for you so that the blessings come through for you at a certain time frame. Whenever you're being disobedient, you're helping the enemy attack you. You're helping them win at whatever it is they came up against you and your bloodline, your generation. This thing is so big, child of God, it's so big. It's even about the people that is attached to you. So you have to think beyond just yourself. You have to get out of the self-reflection of a thing and, and, and stop deflecting on other people 
and really listen to what God is saying to you. And you'll notice if you're being disobedient because you'll hear your voice or your um your the sound of the voice of God will just become distorted, foggy, unclear. You'll start to be thinking back at old mindsets and start to practice old habits. Start to do certain things that just got you lacking or slacking in ways in which you've already been delivered from. So, child of God, in this season, God wants to rain upon you. God is saying if you obey him, this will be a bigger, the biggest blessing you have seen thus far. If you obey him, heaven will rain upon you such rain that was promised, not just because of you, but because of the promise that he made between Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, because, because, okay, who you're attached to and what God said, his word cannot come back void. But if you disobey him, you will become destroyed. So you have to pick and choose what you are willing to do. How bad do you really want to think? How desperate are you for this thing? What are you willing to go through in order to break through a cycle of uh, uh, generational curses off of your family? The lack of poverty, the lack of lustful relationships, the lack of anti-marriage, the lack of everything you're suffering from. What is your fruit saying? How desperately do you want that thing that God placed and desired on us inside of you? How bad do you want to see it come in fruition? Or do you want to keep spinning around the same whirlwind at the whirlwind at the whirlwind with no progress only the fact that you say you love God and God loves you it's time to put your hand into play it's time to go after exactly what it is you want you have the choice in your hand the ball is in your court what do you want it to be the blessing or a curse God has given you the option so go forth and be well child of God know that I'm fighting for you I'm praying for you get down and it's time if God says fast fast if God says pray pray more if God says be delivered be delivered find out what it is that you need to work on with God between you and God we're not living in a religious time frame even though the things change from church to now listen guys from church People were on a repetitive cycle of getting up every day, going to church, and used to this ritual going on in their life. Even though people has expanded and they get their church online or whatever the case is, serving God, worshiping God, is it ritualistic to you? How are you coming up and to um, be one with Him? Are you being in a habit of ritualistic activities where you only do speak with Him? through certain aspects of your life in certain ways or by listening to other people's podcasts or channel or anything in those matters to where you're not going um, um, extraordinary out all out for God in a way where you're doing it by action. You're doing it by force of what your flesh doesn't want to do. You're being delusional and dreaming bigger than you've ever dreamed in your entire life. You're letting out all of the crazy you don't care what people think about you you're moving through what it is what is it what is it in this time that you desire from God go get it result to God and find out if this word is for you I love you so much child of God and I will be praying like I said be blessed and be well bye